Welcome to another episode of Night Know How. My name is Brian. Today we're going to be walking through how to operate a Thermo King reefer unit. First thing you need to know about your Thermo King S600 reefer unit, you have your control unit right here on the driver's side kick panel. As well, you have your fuel tank right by your landing gear. With your Thermo King reefer units, they're all pretty much going to be the same standard operating procedure. You have an on button, an off button, a cycle century or otherwise start stop mode, and a manual defrost mode. You're also going to have your indicator light up here on the left hand side within the driver's view. You will have two different types of indicator lights. You will have a white T indicating that everything is operating normally, or you will have an orange K indicating that there is a fault code with your reefer unit. First thing you want to do, press your on button to power your reefer unit up. It's going to go through a bunch of system checks to verify that everything is operational, let you know if there's any fault codes before starting the reefer unit. All right, so once your reefer unit has started up, you'll notice a couple different icons. Starting on the left-hand side here in the middle, the 69 degrees. This is your temperature currently inside your reefer unit. On the right-hand side, you see 25. This is what the reefer unit is currently set at. The reefer unit is going to cool down until it hits that point. One thing that you may notice on this reefer unit, we have the same symbol here, the circle with the two dots in the middle. That indicates to us that this reefer unit is in start-stop mode which means it's gonna act similarly to your AC in your house. As soon as it hits that 25 degrees, it will shut the reefer unit off to conserve fuel. If the temperature rises, your reefer unit's gonna start back up so that it cools back down. In order to change it between the two modes, all you have to do, press this button one time and you'll see it now says program in continuous mode. You'll also notice a couple other features down here on the bottom point of your reefer. We have our set point, in order to set your reefer temperature, all you'll need to do is go into your set point and it's a plus or minus system to set it to the temperature you want. We'll go ahead and we'll set it at 20 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to hit OK of yes. Make sure you hit yes, if not it will not save your set point. As you can see we can now verify that we have changed our set point to 20 degrees. You have a few other features in here such as your gauges and your sensors that will allow you to cycle through and see what's going on with your reefer. We can see our coolant temperature our discharge rate temperature, our coolant level and oil level all through this setting here. One other thing to notate is the pre-trip function that's built into all Thermo King reefers. The pre-trip function will go through and check every system within the reefer and let you know if there's any faults. To get to your pre-trip function, we're going to hit menu. And the first thing that will pop up is our pre-trip function. All we need to do at this point is hit select. The pre-trip takes roughly 15 minutes to go through, but it's going to test everything from the heating system, the cooling system, the discharge rate, every feature that you could possibly think of to check on your reefer. Now don't think that this means you don't have to do a manual pre-trip and check your oil level, coolant level, things of that nature. That still applies here. As I mentioned before, if you get a fault code, it will throw a orange K or an orange status symbol letting you know there's a fault code on the reefer. One way that that could be manually triggered is if you stop the reefer in the middle of a pre-trip, it will force it into a fault the next time the reefer starts. All right, so as our reefer unit is starting back up, you see we now have the orange K illuminated. That indicates that there is an active fault code that we need to check and be aware of. As well, on our screen here, it's immediately gonna take us to our fault menu and show us we do have one alarm active, which is code 26 for pre-trip aborted. In this case, we manually triggered it, so what we would do at this point in time is just clear our fault code, our status symbol will switch back to our white T, and we are good to continue with our reefer operation. One other thing to notate when you are operating a reefer unit, you have to be very cautious of the fuel level. This does run with a diesel engine, so therefore it does take diesel highway fuel. Your diesel fuel tank is located right behind your landing gear on the driver's side. That's why you do have a fuel gauge on the tank itself. Now this is something that you manually have to check. I do recommend that every time you fill up your truck, go ahead, top off your reefer unit. That way you don't run the risk of getting any claims or anything like that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Today we walked you through how to operate a Thermo King reefer unit. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, as well to see any of our other how-to videos. Make sure you check down in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen.